Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we're going to make cranberry upside down muffins and this is what they look like. So what we have is a really nice tangy sweet cranberry sauce on top and then underneath we have a sweet and buttery vanilla flavored muffin. A really nice contrast of color and flavor in this muffin. So the uh, first thing you need to do is to preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit which is 200 degrees Celsius and then you will need a 12 cup muffin pan. Now you can butter your muffin cups or I'm just going to spray them with a non-stick spray and make sure I've already done this but make sure you really either butter or spray your muffin cups because we don't want the cranberries to stick and if you can like here I've used a non-stick muffin pan which even helps even more and then if you're using the non-stick spray once you spray all the muffin cups I just like take a, a cloth and wipe the top any uh, residual spray and now the first thing we need is our cranberry sauce this isn't quite the same as what you do for your turkey it's a lot more thick and syrupy so you will need a small saucepan and we need cranberries uh, one and a half cups which is 175 grams of fresh cranberries or you could use frozen and always wash your cranberries and then pick through them get rid of any of those soft ones you want them nice and hard they will bounce that's one way you can tell that they're fresh they will bounce <laughs> so just put that in there and then cranberries are very sour so we need sugar we need uh, three quarters of a cup 150 grams of granulated white sugar and then just to add a little moisture I'm only adding one tablespoon of just water if you um, would like you could add like some orange juice if you want to add some uh, you know a nice orange flavor to your uh, cranberry sauce which is good and you could even add a little zest of the orange so now I'm just going to put this over medium high heat stir it we want to first dissolve all that sugar and then what we're going to do is actually cook the cranberries until they get really thick and syrupy and they pop open first we'll just bring it up to a boil so it's now boiling as you can see the sugar has dissolved so now what we're going to do is I'm just going to lower the heat I want it like a gentle boil and we what we want is like I said all the cranberries should or most of them should pop open and you're going it's going to become nice and thick and syrupy now a medium heat that'll take somewhere between you know five ten minutes and I will show you what it looks like at the end so our cranberry sauce is done so let's take it off the heat that took about five minutes and this is what you are looking for as you can see they they're all popped very thick syrupy nice and shiny so there I'm just gonna let that cool for just a second and then when we come back we will make our muffin batter so just before we start our muffin batter what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put about one tablespoon of the cranberry sauce in the bottom of each of the muffin cups if you want to go by gram weight that's about 25 grams so I'll just put in the bottom like that and just make sure it covers the whole bottom and then really easy muffin batter no mixer just wet dry separate bowls mix them together we're done so for the dry in a large bowl I have two cups which is 260 grams of all-purpose flour you may know that as plain flour to that I'm going to add a half a cup 100 grams of granulated white sugar and two and a quarter uh, teaspoons nine grams of baking powder half a teaspoon two grams of salt I like to use the kosher salt I think it has a milder flavor than like the regular table salt but you could use whatever you have in the house and then totally optional but what I like to add is a half of a teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg now if you don't like nutmeg or you don't have it in the house you can leave it out sometimes I do but I think it adds a nice flavor goes along with the, the uh, cranberries 
and I'm just going to whisk that all together. You want to make sure, especially the salt and the baking powder, and it's all mixed together. And then in a separate bowl, you will need one large egg, have your egg at room temperature, and a large egg weighs about 55 grams. And I'm just going to whisk that, break it up, and then to that I'm going to add one cup, 240 milliliters, 240 grams of milk. Now I'm using a full fat, whole milk. That'll make our muffin richer. I mean, you could use like a reduced fat. I don't know whether I'd use a fat free because then you have no, you know, there's no fat. So you need a little to add to the flavor of our muffin. And then one teaspoon, four grams of pure vanilla extract. Now, again, that is purely for flavoring. If you don't want to use the vanilla, you don't have to. You could add another type of flavoring. And lastly, you will need uh, four tablespoons, 55 grams of melted butter. And then let that, once you melt it, let it cool down. You don't want it hot. You want it like room temperature before you use it. And just whisk that. And that's it. So now I'm just going to let's move that aside, make like a well in the center and pour in. As you can see, this is not a, a hard muffin to, to make, but yet it looks very impressive. Especially nice at Christmas time. So just mix them together. You just want to make sure everything's mixed, all moistened. Don't like get too carried away. Don't over mix it because then if you mix too much, your uh, muffins may be a little tough, which we don't want, of course. So there we have it. That's it. So one last thing to do is we're just going to put, evenly divide our batter in the muffin cups. I'm using a, an ice cream scoop. It's an easy way. You can just use two spoons. This is maybe a, like a little more than a quarter of a cup, 60 milliliters. So I'll just put it right on top there. And the last one. And just swirl it around to even it out. So now for baking. Everyone's oven is a little different, as I always say. I find somewhere between 14 and 17 minutes. You won't get a lot of color in the muffin batter, but they will rise, and a toothpick inserted into the center will just come out clean. So 14 to 17 minutes. So our cranberry upside down muffins are done. You can see, nice rise. A little bit of color. Toothpick insert into the center, comes out clean. So what I'm gonna do is just put your pan like on a wire rack. Let them cool like just about a minute, two minutes. And then when we come back, we're gonna take them out of the pan. Okay, so now we are ready to take them out. Now you can just check to make sure that they're not sticking at all to the sides of the pan. So, and then just, and you want to do, like I say, do this while they're still hot. Flip it. And if we're lucky and we greased our pan properly, they will all come out. And they did. That is the advantage of using a nonstick pan. So. And then you want to make sure, like I said, you take them out of the pan while they're still hot. If you let them leave them too long, that cranberry sauce may stick to the bottom and then you've got a bit of a mess. So, so now what I'm going to do, I like actually like these served warm. So I'm just going to let them cool a little bit. And then when we come back, we will try one. Before we try it, I just want to say uh, this it, to me is a really great 
looking muffin. It's very unusual. It's kind of eye popping with that bright red on top and the, and the white batter underneath. So if you're looking for something a little unusual to serve, this is it. <laughs> so, like I said, I like them warm. I'm a big fan of cranberry sauce. And this has, it's tart, but yet sweet. And I think the contrast of that sauce with the, you know, you, get, you kind of taste a little bit of the nutmeg and the vanilla flavored muffin underneath. I think that the contrast of those two, the sweet with the tart is really excellent. So not only do you have a great looking muffin, you have a great tasting muffin. So try these. And until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com.